piano. Hello guys, it's me the piano, and I just want to tell you that the master class is about to start now. So get a pen and a paper, sit tight and enjoy. I wouldn't want to waste your time. Now, if you've not subscribed to my channel, don't forget to subscribe before watching this video or engaging in this class because it's going to be fun. Don't forget to subscribe. Okay, that's all for now. Sit tight and enjoy. Issue first topic, which is uh, two composite scales you must know. Now, the first scale is this. So it works with this. Um, this scale works with about five movements per chord. I'm playing on the key of F. But I'm going to use normal pattern so eventually you can apply it on other keys. Very easy. So um, the first chord is this. Four. The second chord is your three. Third chord is your six. Fourth chord is your two. Fifth chord is your five. And the last chord is your one. So you have your four, three, six, two, five, one. Write it down. So show that you. Explain the scale for you very very easily. That's the first one. But there for that the first movement. Uh, your left hand is playing your four two times. Then your three one time. hand you're playing that first movement so you're playing your uh, 10 10 flat 7 6 flat 6 10 flat 7 6 flat 6 10 flat 7 6 flat 6 
first one is second movement is this. It's supposed to be a six. Six. Well, that's played on your left hand. Your left hand. Uh. This is your six. But now. We are not going to play six exactly. What you are going to play, you are going to play, you are going to play uh, on your left, you are going to play your your six flat flat nine and your ten. So your flat means it's the second note as you should say it's your six chord. your six so let's go now on your right hand you're just running chromatically I did. I did. Uh, this is um, this is my. If we're going, this is my three, three, four, three, flat three, two, flat two, three, four, three, flat three. Your six flat, your six sharp eight or flat nine, 
flat 9 10 and 12 6 flat 9 10 going to the 11, to 11, you're going straight to your 2, always know this when I use uh, added notes like 11, 12, 13, your, 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 your 8 is the same thing as your 1, your 9 is the same thing as your 2, your 10 is the same thing as your 3, your 11, your 4, your 12, your 5, so in case you get those interchangeably just so it's the same to just that the notes are lighter in nature okay so i'm using it when i'm using it to explain number pattern but in chords they are quite different but now i'm using it to explain number pattern okay, so something um six six flat nine six flat nine ten twelve eleven so as you're going to eleven you're going here I have not forgotten the first one. The first one I did something like. So you can apply it on any key you want to. So, so as you're going to your seven, you're touching your five. from the beginning. skill for you is a very very important skill you must know so you can apply to your play even when you're playing the jazz piece you can still apply in them you can just apply even when you want to play maybe wash it like Each and 
each and every part of the scale I've given you in the movement and then you can just decide to apply the last part you can decide to apply this part you can decide to apply this part you can just decide to apply this part any part you cannot choose to apply them individually on anything you want to play you can just Just do a recap. Easy. So, uh, that is about the first scale. So, we'll go straight to the second most important scale you must know. So, the second most important scale you must know is this scale. This scale. Concentrate more with my right hand so you can get it. Three, four, five, one flat three, sorry, one flat three, four, flat five, five, flat seven, and your eight. One flat three, four, flat five, five, flat seven, your eight. Going backward, you have your eight, flat seven, eight, flat seven, five, flat five. Three, one, two, ready. So, this. So, running back. end the song most times when you want to end this chord or in between when you're playing for like uh, uh, I like uh, a play song
Martini song. If you want to play jazz with So there are two most important skills you must know. I think I've done justice to this. So oh hope you enjoy your class. Let's go to the next lesson. So um, we're here again. Uh, I'll show you four top highlight groove you must know. Uh, uh, let's say four top highlight groove you don't know any of it. There are four highlight groove which you never knew before. So the first one is this. Uh, you can playing. Uh, you can contact me for all these loops. I have loops. Like this loop is about uh, four key here.
So the first chord is. This is a three five three five eight. You can apply this on any key. Now what you do on it is that you hold your three and five together, then you strike it. showed you now so let's go to the second highlight group so the second highlight group I'm going to show you is this
first chord is about two chord or three chord about and mix it up so the first one is this is your five your three five seven nine seven three five seven nine seven three five seven nine seven get it that's the first thing you play then the second thing you play is Seven nine eight seven. The seven nine the seven seven nine eight seven nine seven eight seven 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 Seven eight seven. I try seven nine seven eight seven. That the first one. Then the second movement. Build up of your two. Build up of your two four six. Two four six eight six. Two four six eight six. Five seven five seven five. You run again from the beginning. Just play. Okay. I don't have a bass here. I don't have a bass here, so uh, I'm gonna. I need something that has a bass here. So you're just playing your. Let me take another sound that has a bass. Still okay. So you're just playing. Uh, you're just playing your your eight five eight five nine five nine there with the group to show you go straight to the next uh, highlight groove third highlight groove you don't know the third highlight groove I'm going to show you the third highlight groove is sticks <laughs>
Okay. So now, uh, it's like this. to your maybe five. So let's go. The first one is on your chord you have your five the first chord in the middle of your five eight ten five eight ten five eight ten where you're playing only your five and your ten so you're playing with it with your nine Five and ten together, you play your nine alone. So you get five and ten together, nine alone. So you get it together. Alone. Then you should play your five and ten together, your nine. Go back to your five and ten again. Five and ten, nine, five and ten. Then you go to your five and eight. So five and eight. Then the passing chord. The passing chord is your 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 five and your flat seven. So you get your your five and ten with your nine. Six and seven, six, yeah, six and eleven. Same thing as you did the first one, but this time you're playing six and eleven together, and you're nine alone. Remember the first one, but this one is so from the beginning. Passing chord. So you're six and eleven together, and you're nine alone. Your six and eleven together, your nine in then you play your six in low. So it's something like this. So let's go from the scratch. So when you have played that six in low, that's your six and eleven together, your nine in the six in low. Then you now play your six and your set six and your eight together. Your six and your eight together. Then the last chord. The last one is your two, four, seven. Then you repeat the process again. Two, four, seven. From the beginning. Fourth high life groove I'm going to show you is this. Uh, the bar is in this loop. Okay, let me go.
the face and the vent. So the first one is this. You have your three and your eight. Three eights. Play them together. If you want to spice it up, you can add the five. But it's not compulsory. You can do. But you can just do this. The second one is this. The second one is your four and nine. Four nine. Four nine. The third one is this, which is your your five and your ten. But if you want to spice it up, you can add your flat seven. So you can do. So you can add your flat seven. But the main chord is this: your five and your ten. So you can do. The next one, which is you go back to your your four and your nine. First one, second one, third one, fourth one. You go back to your four and nine. Fifth one, you go back again to the other card, uh, which is uh, your your five and your ten. Sixth one is your six and your eleven. So let's go from beginning one, two, three. Don't remember, always remember the spice up. You can spice up this. And do. So. So. Okay. Then, then the next one is. So you have your two and your seven. spice up yours when you get to your movements maybe when you get to that uh, your five and your ten you can spice it up with it you can only spice it up when you get to the last one you can spice it up with those ending notes it makes it sound like a lead guitar so apply the with it it sounds like it.
highlight groove you must know okay so move to the next let me introduce the piano and the beat I'm going to show you two Makosa grooves you don't know, which is this for this class. So you have your three, four, five, three, three, five, eight, five, three, five, eight, five. And the second one is. So you have your eight, eight, six, five, two, four, eight, six, five, two, four. So you have the first one. When you get your when you, when you play your eight six five two four, you now play six nine. Eight six eight six five two four six nine. Eight six five two four six nine. That's the first one. Then the second one. So you now play the second one. You have your Two five seven five two five seven five. So well, on this other part, you're not playing the other part is here. Uh, seven six five seven six five two four. That's it. Repeating of that first one seven seven six five two four six nine seven six five two four six nine the first one is so you have your you, you're having a the first one you're having your eight six five two four six nine by the second one you're having your seven six five two four six nine remember so very easy so on your hand you're just vamping your single notes you're just vamping on your one chord your two chord and your five chord Vamping on your one chord, your two chord, and your five chord. Your one chord is your one, one, three, five, two. You have your two, four, six. Then your five chord inverted, so you're playing your two, five, seven.
probably something like eight five eight ten. Eight five eight ten. Then the second one. You have your six eight eleven. Eight 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 five eight ten. Eight five eight five eight ten. You now have your uh, your six eight your six eight. The six eight eleven. The six eight eleven twelve. So then you now have so you have your your uh, five seven five seven nine five seven five seven nine five seven five seven nine. Five seven five seven nine. So let's go for you. You repeat again. You go back to your six, your six, eight, eleven, twelve. First Makosa groove, I know you don't know, so I've thought it out. Uh, we'll go straight to the second Makosa groove you don't know. The second Makosa groove you don't know is this. <laughs> is your Thank you. 
to subscribe if you have not subscribed subscribe uh support you can see support ticket down if you want to donate you can still donate to me i've dropped the link here to support me yeah um, don't forget to share this video so after watching drop a comment uh let me know how you feel about this video because it's awesome don't forget to subscribe you see the button there subscribe subscribe it's there subscribe cool subscribe for free and click on your notification button okay Okay, that's about the second microcycle you don't know. Okay, go straight to the next one. Revelations 19 verse 6 And I heard as it were the voice of a great multitude And as the voice of many waters And as the voice of mighty thunderings Saying hallelujah for the Lord God Today I'm going to show you three incredible, incredible ways You can spice up your worship play So if you play something like you deserve it. You don't just stay in one place. You move from your left to the middle to your right. Now. So, see. I'm moving, I'm not just one. I'm moving. So you see. So first way is move, learn to move. But try not to move so noisy. Hey, I am too much. First way, then move. Now, another way of spicing up your worship, try to apply skills. You can apply chromatic skills. So go brag about it. If you can apply skills, I'm just giving you an example. Like you need skills to spice up. So I just use a chromatic scale for you. Get it, skill.
on my chord. So flip your notes. Don't just play notes like uh, like These two hands, you just so if you're holding a chord, you flip the middle, the third note I should set with that chord. Like this is one, one, three, five. So you can just flip uh, like this. Flipping, it's too, so just apply flips. I'm just giving you basics about that, but that's what spice up your watch. Play. You can still run your ghost notes. left to right second one you apply scales then the third one you flip so applying the both all of them uh what is that song which is that's in my soul I've moved but as I moved I flip look to now I apply the scale coming back the scale but I moved, I started applying my skills. Now I flipped. Now scale. Spice up your worship play very busy. We get three incredible ways. So go rehearse and spice up. Don't forget if you know if you're watching the video and you have not subscribed, subscribe. Tell someone and share this video. Thank you. So uh in this video I'm gonna show you how to sound unique, how to sound unique. Now most people ask me how are you able to you know how are you able to compose the sounds, how are you able to Run the skills, you choose it there. Besides knowing the basic of the sound, you can actually create your sound. So I can create anything I want, I sound out of my mouth. So Can create it so it's very very simple now how do i create those amazing sounds now, yes sound like if i'm using this to for example you can just you can picture a sound and i can just like can just like okay i can just like mm, what I do with my mat so I'm not going to... 
now for your, for your start you may actually have issues you may it may take you time to actually get who but what you have to do if you if you get the groove you can just record what you the groove you want from your mouth then you start practicing it when you actually get it then you can do no speed it is so just as i confirmed this with my math now i did something like create a one minute solo like this at any point you create with your mouth first then you try to play what you've created with your mouth on the piano then over time when you've mastered it you increase it you increase that's how you compose that's how you sound you need because when you're creating you're creating your own sound so there's a point you get to you don't need to actually start realizing what you played anything you imagine on your head you can just play it you sound just like me so basically that's the simplest way to sound unique there's no magic about it there's no magic about it so you try, I'm playing from what is coming from my head now. So I can do something. Let me go with the one I created. So you can apply this on any genre of music at all. It works. Any genre of music. Try to create a rhythm with your mouth, or a groove with your mouth, or a scale with your mouth. Anything you want to create with your mouth. You can try to find the notes of those scales on your piano. We find the notes of those scales on your piano. Then you're able to not start developing speed from time to time. When you low speed, then of course there's a stage you get to. Just like me, I don't have to start realizing what I've what comes from my mind anything that comes to my mind i'll be able to just play it right so that's it that's how you sound unique so you won't sound like someone else you start sounding like your own self that's how you see. so that's the secret guys that's the way i create all these skills and all this magic that's it So we move straight to the next topic. Oh na 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 yeah. Vic Piano, freestyle, 
And every day I they call you for phone They tell you, they say you beautiful and how wonderful you are And every day I they try to hold your hands To tell you how you find oh, How you nice oh Say now you wait till me say you go see me Every day I'm waiting just for my own And I don't wait I I don't wait I for you I don't wait I I don't wait I for you And I don't wait I I don't wait I for you I don't wait I I don't wait I for you